Lidocaine is an amide local anaesthetic and can be given in doses of up to three milligrams per kilogram if used alone, or seven milligrams per kilogram if combined with adrenaline, which is of course what reduces the rate of its systemic absorption by promoting vasoconstriction. You'll generally come across it in vials of 1% or 2%. It has a pKa of 7.9, which is relatively low for a local anaesthetic, and it has a relatively fast onset because 25% of it is unionized at a pH of 7.4, which is a greater proportion than many others. However, it's only 70% protein bound, which is relatively low, and so its duration of action is comparatively short, with an elimination half-life of only 100 minutes. And then we come to bupivacaine. Bupivacaine is also an amide local anesthetic, but it's much more lipid soluble than lidocaine, so it's eight times more potent its maximum dose is two milligrams per kilogram, regardless of whether it's given with adrenaline or not. It has a pKa of 8.1, which is higher than lidocaine, meaning it has a relatively slow onset of action because only 15% of it is unionized at pH of 7.4. However, it's 95% protein bound, so it has a very high affinity for the voltage gated sodium channel, giving it a relatively long duration of action with an elimination half-life of 160 minutes. But it's a lot more cardiotoxic because it does not readily dissociate from the cardiac sodium channels. Bupivacaine is presented as a mixture of both its isomers, but you can give the pure S an antimer, levobupivacaine, which is often referred to by its trade name chirocaine. Levobupivacaine, compared to the mixture, is less cardiotoxic, displays less motor block, it has less vasodilatation, and is more protein bound giving it a longer duration of action.